we're told to give the relative frequencies as percentages run into one decimal place. A frequency table is a table with two columns, where one column lists the possible values of the variable, which in this case are the intervals of ages, often called the bins, and the other lists the corresponding frequency for each value, which is the second column, which gives the number of students in each interval or each bin. Relative frequency is sometimes shown in a third column, as we have here. The relative frequency expresses the frequency of each possible value relative to the whole. Relative frequencies can be expressed as fractions, decimals, or percentages. So the first step is to determine the total number of students by summing this column here. 10 plus 3 plus 2 is 15, plus 10 is 25, plus 6 is 31, plus 8 is 39. The total number of students is 39. And now we can determine the relative frequency. Because there are 10 students of ages 15 through 18, the relative frequency is 10 39ths as a fraction. And now let's convert this to a decimal and percentage. 10 divided by 39 to three decimal places is approximately 0.256. which is the percentage to one decimal place is 25.6%. Next, there are three students with ages 19 through 22, and therefore the relative frequency is 3 39ths, which does simplify to 1 13th. But again, we're looking for the percentage, so I'll go ahead and leave it in this form and divide to find the decimal to three decimal places. Three divided by 39, to three decimal places is 0 0.077, which is 7.7%. Next are two students with ages 23 through 26. The relative frequency is 2 39ths, which to three decimal places is approximately 0 0.051. which is 5.1%. Next are 10 students with ages 27 through 30, and therefore the relative frequency is 10 39ths, which we know from above is approximately 0 0.256, which is equal to 25.6%. Next there are six students with ages 31 through 34. The relative frequency is 6 39ths, which simplifies to 2 13ths, but again, we'll go ahead and convert to a decimal. To three decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.154, which is 15.4%. And for the last example, there are eight students with ages 35 through 38. The relative frequency is 8 39ths, which is approximately 0 0.205. which is 20.5%. I hope you found this helpful.